Could you see the auroras here on Wednesday night? Some of you on Tuesday night actually got to see this rare glimpse of the northern lights here on the first coast. Now let's talk about what's happening here because we have to go back a few days. The sun, what I call a sunburp, it's a CME, a coronal mass ejection shot out in the direction of Earth. In this, the Space Weather Prediction Center put out a geomagnetic storm watch, a severe a G4. These are just simply indicating that the auroras could be possible and also an impact possibly on communications and things like that. And last night, everything came together to create the northern lights. Look at this out at the Dames Point Bridge. This is at Neptune Beach. Our weather watchers sending in some fantastic photos. But what happened here was when these CMEs take place, they come out in waves and some of those waves kind of bunched up together. And as it approached our Earth's magnetic field, it came in extra strong and basically all the factors came together in just the right setup to create the northern lights all the way down here towards Florida. And a lot of those were red, indicating those uh, about 200 kilometers up. The uh, magnetic field was interacting with oxygen molecules. Now, could we see it again tonight? Well, the third and final wave is arriving here midday on our Wednesday and some of the effects could linger after sunset, but it really is just possible and not certain. What you need is a clear view of the northern sky. Best way to view it is on the night vision on your phone. Maybe a longer exposure. Last night you were able to see it to the naked eye. Tonight it's possible, but not likely. So if you get out there, it's cold. Bundle up. Don't get your hopes up. But if you do see it, it still could be a once in a lifetime event. Check out firstcoastnews.com for more information.